finally received my snowmobile helmet, so let's open it right now. There will be some background noise, guys. I'm sorry about that. My dog is playing around with her ball, so I won't put her in the cage because I just back. I'm just back from work and she passed all day long in the cage. So I will let her have her fun. So apologize for the noise. So now let's open the box. Destroy the bill. Bit. There you go. Should be another box anyway, so there's not a big danger of cutting through the. Nothing's important. Oh, and the element bag is not included in the box, so. Uh, it's a good thing it was not just sitting on the top like that because I would have probably cut it with a knife. That's the reason why I put only a short length on the blade, but it was a bit dangerous even. There was no tag nowhere saying that do, do not use a knife. But if you happen to order that helmet, which was from Up North Sports, uh, be careful because the bag might not always be on the side uh, But it was a good thing. I don't know if you, they're always packing the box like that But it's a good thing if the bag the helmet bag is on the side so you don't cut it when you open the box Here again. I have parts of the bill So let's uh, the box is already kind of open. I hope I don't receive a return or something. Let's get rid of this one. I cannot say that the box is damaged, but the corners are bent. It's like a dent here, and it's already open. So I hope I don't have a used helmet or something that I've been returned. Because obviously, if there's a scratch or anything, I will have to return it, and that will delay a lot my snowmobile ride. Well, let's take it out of this box, which there is another element back, but it's more for protecting it uh, in the shipping. And there's a little piece of foam at the bottom of the box to make sure it doesn't move in the box, which is a good thing. So the helmet is a Castle X XO CX950 modular helmet. Uh, it's well protected with that bag here, so I hope it's not damaged, but uh, I guess it will be fine. Uh, and it's very light. I can tell already. I don't know how much it weight, but it is very light So let's open that bag And there's one thing uh, I wanted to shield the, the double lens or the double layer shield and the electric shield as well. Um, but since there was not a package for both shield, I decided to buy the helmet with the double lens shield and the electric shield is in the shipping as we speak. So I will make a review about that. After I will have used it a couple of times so I will be able to give you a, a good review. <clears throat> but about the helmet, I should have all the tools to remove the, I don't know how you can call it, it's not a visor, uh, maybe a, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I will probably remove it because it's not something I like, it's not the best look.
Some will say that I'm crazy to remove that because it gave the helmet a great look. Not my case. I will obviously not throw it out because if I want to uh, reinstall it someday, I will have it. <clears throat> but with that thing, uh, do I have any tools with that? Probably. I got two side plates here so I can remove this plate here and install the side plate instead with which I will do because as I said I want to remove it. Uh, so I must have the tool for that as well unless it's just not a flat screwdriver but my guess is uh, I will make a closer look. Just a dull oh shit. Just a coin will do the job just fine uh, as you can see i hope you can see the notch here uh, but it not it must not be very tight anyway and as you can see i bought it black matte because i, I simply love matte colors these days uh, and when i will start building my lambo i will also go for a matte color because i love it so as you can see, I will try to open it uh, so you will have a better shot or a better view. Look very comfortable. You can see the paddle on top of the helmet. It's not stick to the bottom or on the top. So it's kind of a little suspension allowing the heat of the head to go around the helmet as you can see it's a large i hope it will fit the visor is very tight so there's no way it will fall by itself which is a good thing uh, and you can also lift the face or the entire model R front so now i will remove that thing i will install the side plate so we will see in real time how much time it takes to replace that thing or to remove that thing. Uh, I, how tight the plugs or the, the, the screw on the side are. So let's try it with the Canadian dollar. First need to make sure that the lower section is firmly closed. After that, we unscrew both sides with a hand that I can use. No, it's not very tight and a dollar, a Canadian dollar fit very well in it. So it doesn't damage the screws. And I just saw that uh, if you look closely, there's some little plastic lock pin if i can ask, uh, call it like that and i have two spares if i happen to break one or to lose one so i have one screw removed Now I suppose just gently pull on this thing. Yep, it's very sensitive, fragile. Okay, so just to make sure the big section or the big fin go on the lower parts. There you go, put back the screw. It will also be easier to access the vent without that thing in a way. And to reinstall that, make sure that the, the gap here match the gap in the visor or the side of the visor. Well, it's pretty easy to install. Just a matter of putting it at the right place and put back the screw. So it was very tight, so I won't put it back very tight, but enough so it doesn't unscrew by itself. There we 
go. Is it too tight? No, still opening fine. Let's see about the... Yeah, open fine as well. So now it's easier to access the vent on the top here just by pushing on the back, open the vent. This helmet comes with uh, integrated sunglasses or sun visors. So if I action the side button here, it drops the sun visor. You can see it a little better this way. So if I push the button on the front, it rises the visor. And if you pull it back, it's putting the visor down or the sunglasses down. So with this system, at least you don't have to carry a pair of sun sunglasses or skin to to lose them, to break them, or risking more fogging in your head or helmet env environment. So just by actioning that, you have sunglasses on the fly. It's very easy, very practical. And to open the vent on the front at the mouth, you just have to push it down and the vent is open here. And to close it, you just pull it up. Now I will remove the protective film on the visor because I want to try this helmet and see how comfortable it is, uh, if the size fits well, because even if large mean large in, in all helmets, uh, sometimes you have different, not different size, but yeah, I can see it like that, a different size between helmets even if it's a large helmet. Uh, so I will remove or I will peel off the film. There's also a film inside. A little more. There you go. Now I have the plastic inside, there you go. So now I can see that the, the visor have no scratch whatsoever on it. It's very clear and you can see a little better now than the sunglasses inside when I pull back the little button. Let's try this baby on. I will put the back here so I don't scratch the top on my counter. Should that should it, should do that at the beginning. We'll start by opening the front. Okay, so it's not too tight, but it's let's say a tight fit uh, I could not have gone any tighter out uh, the padding inside will compress a bit because is tight as a point that I cannot wear my balaclava in the limit at the moment so I hope it will compress as I said so I can wear the proper stuff inside the helmet so I, I don't get cold because at the moment is a little tight. So let's close the mouth section. And as you can see, I have a good protection here. I try to do that in the light. I got a good protection over my nose here. Uh, and that section, it's actually pretty loose, so it will fit well with my balaclava. I believe the helmet will be a good fit, just matter of kind of breaking it so everything get in its place. Not everybody have the same size or the same shape of head. So 
so it doesn't fit the same way to everyone but I believe after a couple of use a couple of hours maybe wearing the helmet it will kind of get the shape of my head and I will have plenty of space or room to wear my balaclava in it but uh, it feels very comfortable I don't feel any pressure anywhere as I said uh, you feel a little tight but it's all around uh, so I don't have a pressure point anywhere which is a good thing especially because uh, this helmet was also pretty expensive so I don't expect I didn't expect uh, nothing less than not a perfection but a very good quality and I believe it is what I'm wearing at the moment because it feels very comfortable of course I will have to try it in a cold uh, probably the, the the double lens visor will fog uh, when I will get in minus 20 uh, Celsius but as I mentioned earlier I will wait uh, and test it and I will install my GoPro on the helmet when I will ride so I will be able to give you a, 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 a live review of how I feel with the helmet uh, how foggy the lens become if it get any foggy but I must say or I have to say it's very comfortable I have it on my head for about five minutes or so and it's already feel less tight uh, which is a good thing as I as I thought it will get a better fit to my head after wearing wearing it for an hour or two so if I lift the visor where's that button it's yellow but uh, it's not annoying even if there is no sun outside uh, I'm looking outside and it's very clear even if it looked very dark that the, the yellow look very dark uh, it's not from inside the helmet it's very clear when I'm looking outside and as I said it will be way much better than using sunglasses because sunglasses when you when you uh, drive all day long and you arrive in the dark you have to remove them obviously and put them somewhere so it's always a risk of breaking them losing them uh, and wearing sunglasses and a helmet uh, they fog they can fog very easily so uh, I will love this sun visor inside the helmet that's for sure and I will put that aside now let's open the helmet bag It's obviously look like a good quality inside the, uh, outside I mean but I wonder uh, what the padding is inside because obviously we don't want to scratch the helmet when you restore it in the bag oh it's very soft fabric there's some fabric thing uh, let's see how tight it fit in it maybe I will install or put it both bag when I will start it so it doesn't or I make sure it doesn't I doesn't scratch it because uh, there's no protection for the zipper so the zipper might rub on the helmet especially on the higher points like the vent ear the back of the helmet ear and the visors so yes I will store the helmet in that first bag that came with the helmet and after that I will put it in this one so I will make sure nothing will scratch the helmet much better like that especially because it's a little loose in the bag and there's no fabric 
or loose fabric that can get cut in the zipper which is also a great thing but store like that I'm sure I won't scratch the helmet and it will be fully protected I believe that thing is also waterproof it feel kind of waterproof so I cannot ask you for a better bag for my helmet so in the next video about this helmet I will give you a good review about this double length or this double shield visor uh, just to know if it's fogging and if it does how much how bad but also on the electric shield that is in the shipping at the moment uh, I will do that after one or two ride of snowmobiles so I will be able to tell you uh, what's the feeling with the electric shield for this helmet does it work great does it work good or does it fall because I because I've read review on the electric shield for this helmet uh, from people saying that there might be a leak between the two lens because there were some fog between the two lens of the electric shield or the, ele the electric visor so I will review all of this after one ride of two with my snowmobiles so I will be able to give you an accurate review not on everything because uh, it might work great for me not so much for others but at least you will have my experience uh, how it feel how I like it or I dislike it so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified as soon as I will post the next review about this helmet. So this is it for now. I wish everybody a great day and see you later. Bye.